morning everybody hope everybody's well welcome to the boost hope you're doing great happy thursday the first week is charting on by talking about resolutions and why they don't work how to get around them we began by understanding what does and doesn't work in our minds if we don't have a resolution that we really care about forget it just forget it if our resolutions are like I want to do that thing forget it we got to identify the want of want we got to identify the thing that we really need to do that's where we have to think about it we got to identify the thing that we actually like need to do now when you make a resolution you understand something that you're going up against your brain and you usually lose like you against your brain usually loses because you have a brain to use your brain so if it's you and your brain against your brain like if it's you and your new brain against your old brain you have a shot but if it's you against your brain no way right i don't want to i'm using this example because it's easy but use whatever example you want i don't want to eat bad anymore or i don't want to eat after eight o'clock anymore great if your brain is used to eating after eight o'clock and there's a hundred triggers around your house to do that yeah it's not going to really work and you, even if you're like the most disciplined per okay maybe if you're so disciplined fine but you'll be using so much discipline to not eat at eight you'll be without even realizing it you'll be taking away the discipline you need for work and relationships and whatever else so i'm going to do something like that just saying it especially if it's not like the thing that you've really wanted to do the want to want you haven't dug in and said if i could do one thing this year it's this it's the beginning of the end i don't mean to be so non-enthusiastic about that it's the beginning of the end so how do you do it so let's talk about it that's what we're here for right we're here to talk about these things Remember that resolutions are just promises. They're just decisions. They don't get you anywhere. They just, at best, change directions. They put you on a new path. Resolution is like picking the highway to go on. You want to drive north or south or east or west? That's your resolution. What highway should I take now? But in order for your mind to actually do something, remember, the mind has to be conditioned to do it. And conditioning is small and repetitive. Right? When you hear somebody make bold statements, usually they don't really know how to get there. Sometimes they do. A lot of times they don't. Most innovation that takes place is not macro innovation. Most innovation that takes place is really micro. It's the constant growth of something. And when you see it at the end, it seems macro to you because you haven't spent three years in the lab with the team, right? You don't know that before, you know, the iPhone was like an iPod there was like if you I don't even remember what it's even called it's an iPod not an iPod the one if, which was the one with the uh, with the music you know what I'm talking about for those who are there are people that don't even know what I'm talking about by the way if you remember there was like that the music I think it was called an iPod right I yeah, iPod I think someone's googling it right now or screaming at me through through whatever they're listening to but you remember it right like it came out a long time ago. Right? It had all the music, you had all the music you ever wanted on it, right? And you scrolled in the thing. Right? You don't realize how long that took to develop an Apple. And you also didn't realize that the scroll actually came from your, your, your lock. You know, when you were a kid, you had that lock. Maybe they have it now. You know, the locker locks? The turnings? That innovation of the turning locks led to the familiar feel of the turning wheel. Right, which then led to, which then led to, which then led to, like each thing was hundreds of little micro steps along the way. 
that led itself to constant innovation, which then created new and new products. Like you don't realize that the the micro innovation of the company that manufactured the un, the the glass that doesn't break when it falls on the floor that you can press on in order to take, allow you to have a touch screen. Apple didn't make that. Apple contracted for that. When Apple released the iPhone that first time, they were dropping in and it was shattering. And if you remember BlackBerry, remember the, remember BlackBerry? RIM, remember BlackBerry? Well, BlackBerry had plastic. Remember that whole thing? You couldn't touch it. Right? You, had to, you had little keys. And they produced this thing called the Storm. I believe which kept on shattering right like just to get that iPhone glass that no one just dreamed that up at night that was hours and days and years of micro innovation till finally the glass and the phone and it came together and the operating system you don't have things in life because like there's a eureka you know the when when all these great innovators were creating these you know innovations and inventions they weren't just eureka it they had books and labs experiments hundreds these are micro changes the world operates through small incremental growth changes the same way your body works the same way the world works you don't just wake up in the morning and you grow five feet small 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 changes that's how the world operates. That's how God created his world. Change takes place through consistent, repetitive, incremental moves. And when you see a big move, there's always the exceptions to the rule that God can do whatever he wants. But when you see big moves, usually the big moves is that you just haven't been to the party yet. You just showed up. Right? So that guy who was playing that guitar, you think that guy just like rolled out of bed and just ripped that up. You don't, you, you just haven't been to his house for the past decade. Right? The person who like just seems so smooth or has so much discipline or has so much strength and endurance or has such a tremendous skill or knew the answer to that question, you just think is brilliant. Okay, some people have more or less talents, but usually... You just weren't around when they were studying forever. Incremental changes, small growth, consistent, repetitive, the boring part of changing your life, the boring routine of becoming great. You see, the reason why we don't do it is because the goal isn't exciting enough. Why would I go through hours and hours and hours of this repetitive constant constant thing to do if i don't even care about the end that's why kids don't study when they're teenagers what's the point i don't care really i want good grades but i don't want it badly enough to go through the real process of studying and studying and repetitive and repetitive and reviewing and reviewing and getting the material Of course I want to achieve this thing in work. Of course I want to, yeah, but I don't want it badly enough. That I'm going to give up all these normal life to repeat constantly again and again and again. I remember, I don't know if I told you this story, but the guy who had the law school, for those who lost, the, law, the lawyers that are listening, you remember 1L. 1L is like, it's like, you know, the Navy SEALs have something called Hell Week. Right? The law students have it for a year. It's called 1L. So I remember when a guy, some kid asked me for advice. He says, if I go to 1L, like, can I still like watch football t you know, twice a week and then still go out with my friends, still play my, I still have two leagues that I'm a part of and I'm, and I'm dating some. He's like, I don't really want to like do any of that work, but like, can I still do all of that and still at the same time do well in school? I'm like, no. You can't. Like, it doesn't work that way. You can't grow. And you can't review as many times as you need to to understand the material as well as you need to to compete at the level that you need to in 1L in a good school or in any school for that matter unless you have the time. If you don't want it, you ain't going to get it. 
You see, when we skip steps and resolutions, we resolve to do things we don't really want to do because we haven't gone deep enough. We go up against our brain that's already neurologically programmed to something else, and we basically just ride this wave of, I'm, I'm going to do it. So we live in la-la land that it's already done in our minds, and then we wake up one morning and it's not done. But if we go through the steps of seeing that these resolutions really are flawed, and one of the key flaws is that I can't resolve and change my life. I'm up against a bigger foe. And then we say, wait, in order for me to actually want this thing, I got to really dig. Because I'm in this world for a reason. There's something that I got to do next. I don't know if I'm going to be in five years now, but right now, my year, I got something to become. There's things I got to do. There's a person I got to become. There's a relationship that I got to form stronger bonds to. There's a strength that I got to build. There's character that I have to work on. There are values that I need to embody. I got what I got to do. And it's buried. Buried. In under the world of I can'ts. I got to identify it in a moment of newness. Bring it out and say, I want this. And if I can picture myself at the end of this year being having that, or getting close to that, I get up for that. Oh, I'd get up for that. If you don't have a goal that you get pumped for even the chance of having, you're not going to get up for it. And you haven't dug deep enough. Because if you're alive, you've got stuff to do. Period. End of story. If your eyes are open, we need you on this planet. Or we, God needs you on this planet to do something. Your life ain't random. But if you're taking the time to get thinking about what your goal is, what your resolution really should be, what's the want to want, what's that deeper real need, you come up and then you say, well, well how do I get there? You know how you get there? Repetition. Micro changes. I need to I need to step right now one step in that direction. What do I do today? What can I take on? What can I get rid of? What can I adjust that is small enough that it won't make me nuts, but is large enough that I will feel like I'm moving in the right direction and I can do every single day, consistent, consistent, consistent. What can I do consistently so that my brain starts to create a new map and the name of this map is called My Goal. In your brain, there's going to be a new city that they're building. I see pictures sometimes of, you know, cities. Like Israel's a, a young country. America is an old country. So it's hard to see that. Sometimes I see the Wild West and whatever. But Israel's a young country. Like in 1950, you see pictures of like Tel Aviv, which now is like the most desirable city maybe on the planet. And it was like a, like a sand dune, right? You're thinking, how do they build a city on this thing? In your head, there's a little sand dune with a one flag in it, and it says your goal. And every single day, you're just building roads. You're putting up a store. You're building a road. You're adding a little building. Repetition, 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 repetition. You do something small every single day that gets you a little bit closer to your goal now you're playing the game now you're using your new brain against your old brain now we're going somewhere if you can contrast the I don't want to do it and I'm up against my brain failure of resolutions to I really want to do it and I'm only doing a ritual every single day to get me closer which is a small repetitive act now, now we're talking. All right, we'll continue this. Everybody have a great weekend. Think about this, if you wouldn't mind. Try to articulate your want to want until you're really excited about it. Try to articulate something you can do that's small and repetitive so that you can start to lay that first dirt road of your new city. 
Let's do it. Why not? We got one life to live. Let's make it as great as possible. All right, have a great day. God help. With God's help. I cannot wait to see you again next week. Have a great day. Living on a lifeline. The world doesn't ever seem to change. Looking for the sunshine. But you're caught up in the rain. It's like your eyes are wide open, but you cannot see. You're watching life pass you by like one, two, three. Walking in destruction. The winds of life blur your vision. All the devastation forever feels like you're on the run. It's time. No one else can set you free. You're locked inside. And only.